Tell us about perks of PhD from US. Uh, we know through our friends a lot about PhD in India. A lot of them have been on this Momentum podcast itself. But why did you specifically pick US? Research, I get it. Research is the most cutting edge in US that's going on right now. Other than that, would you like to say anything when it comes to the flexibility that it gives or uh, obviously the stipend that it gives or uh, the exposure that it gives? Uh, obviously, it's amalgamation of all <laughs> the points. It's not something which is very tempting. Like, mm-hmm. uh, obviously, stipend is good, yeah. right? We all know stipend is so for freaking comparison, good. India in India, what is the amount that uh, PhD students? It's thirty one k. Thirty one k. Thirty one k, right? And uh, and in US, if you convert it in rupees, what is it? It depends how many semesters and quarters you are like if it is nine quarters mm-hmm. sorry if it is nine months and it is three quarters it depends but annually if I'm getting almost thirty two thousand dollars that's a big amount so that's around like two lakh seventy thousand or so close to that what if you can, monthly yeah in rupees I'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. so so that's a lot yeah that's right? that's around nine times yeah. And plus, it's get. not about money, basically. Yeah. It's about the kind of liberty you have over That's there. That's actually in lower end in US. Uh, compared, yeah. Because you have to look at expense of living over there as well. Like PhD yeah. students, the earning is actually lower end amongst all the other professions, right? Yeah. yeah. Plus, people are pretty much professional over there. They mm-hmm. encourage you to go ahead. Yeah. They encourage you for your ideas. Mm-hmm. They'll never discourage you. Over here, I feel people are very much stressed. Mm-hmm. And I feel that people just go with the flow. They get lost. They mm-hmm. don't even know that they wanted to do something else in the starting and they just get lost with the flow of uh, the vision, with the vision of their professor, whoever mm-hmm. is... Uh, teaching them or whoever is guiding them but mm-hmm. over there you can have your individuality and still can pursue your research and uh, i haven't gotten over there but so far i have interacted with some yeah, graduate students yeah. over there and with the professor also it feels so good mm-hmm. they are so cool i can say anything mm-hmm. i can say anything like sometimes my professor used such idioms that <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> I did not expect it coming from you. <laughs> so uh, I feel when atmosphere, like it, it's PhD, it's a, uh, you can say it's a test of your pas- patience. <laughs> if people will not uh, show you that small, small gestures of comforting you, I don't think so you'll be able to give back <laughs> 100% to your research. <laughs> if your professor is comforting, he is <laughs> encouraging, he is quite cool Hmm. you can ask anything you can discuss anything graduate students are quite professional you can just uh, you can just read it in terms of email only when you interact with them you'll see the difference so um, I have seen a lot of people saying that uh, Komal over here atmosphere is that people want to encourage you people Hmm. want to want you to go ahead in your life Mm -hmm. but in India a lot of people want to pull you down yeah that's like that's what it is said for almost every part of the world apart yeah, from e- like US. that's what i've heard that in u.s people try to encourage and push you if you're doing great and rest of the world is like trying to pull you not not only in india or other parts itself. yeah my professor like encouraged me to do my research under some other professor as well in the department if mm-hmm. i want to and yeah, if yeah. i like to pursue my research other I thing can... is that you can even change your professor so yeah i once was talking to a person who was doing his phd from mit aero astro group and he changed his professor in third year of phd okay a uh, little bit of it was because he was not feeling that connection with the professor. Maybe a tussle, that's the word he, that, that he used, that it was not that good of a connection. But uh, other one was that he was interested in different aspect of research and he just changed it. So it is that flexible over there as well. Yeah. Hmm. And so I can see, fr- like all I can see from here is it is quite interdisciplinary also. Mm-hmm. You can pursue your research in collaboration with two professor, three professor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 and like also, you're free basically. Yeah. Also, the system is a little bit different in India because over here the stipend that you get is from government, right? And over there it is from the fund of the professor. Most probably. So the thing over here is that PhD students 
uh, candidates generally what happens is that their research keeps on getting extended and extended because the professor does not care the money is not coming from his pocket but in us what happens is that he does not want to extend your phd more than it has to because uh, it's coming from straight from his pocket so a lot of times you will see people completing phd's in 4 years or sometimes even i've heard like 3 years sometimes yes. right yes. yeah yeah so there are a lot of differences uh, phd in india obviously is a difficult struggle uh, i mean yeah there are good universities for example yes. anshuman no. is anshuman is doing from iit bombay yeah. he's happy He's doing happen. wonders. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can see it. Yeah, few yeah. of my friends also are doing from IIC Bangalore. They're happy, right? But also, you will have to look at like uh, who's your professor, and that you will have to study well in general. Like, not okay. I've heard bad cases in US also. Like, uh, too much difficult situation. It's not only like uh, people or PhD students are uh, frustrated in majority in general. across the world because all phd is about is failures research failures after research failures and you'll have to get some output out of it and not for everyone it's not everyone's cup of tea but yeah there are more benefits of uh, doing it from us because of the reasons that we have mentioned but we have some other questions for you so what was the whole uh, process of applying can you break it down into steps what is step 1 if one wants to start applying for phd abroad if say